here's a prayer for Wednesday, April 8, 2020. In the ancient world, crucifixion was a death sentence of shame and disgrace. It was usually reserved for slaves, crim criminals of the worst sort from the lowest levels of society, military deserters, and especially traitors. It is almost impossible to imagine what Jesus' disciples and friends must have felt to see him being treated so cruelly. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord saves the crushed in spirit. The Lord saves the crushed in spirit. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. The Lord saves the crushed in spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The Gospel of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Is there someone who is sick or hurting that you would like to pray for today? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that are affected by this virus and for all the people that are helping protect us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the elderly and the lonely and the homeless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all our special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, think of them now. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy God, we thank you for Jesus, our King and our Savior. May we follow his example and be obedient to your will for us. We pray in his name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Well, today is now Wednesday. And we weren't here yesterday because, well, we weren't here Monday because we did a Zoom meeting and we weren't here yesterday because we did a fast from electronics. So I didn't want you to have to go onto the computer or any device um, to watch the video. So I just wanted you to spend time with your family. And since it was raining, um, it was a perfect time for you to spend quality time with your family and just um, be, with, be with each other, pray, and do things um, with each other. So now, today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. So let's say it all together. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. So now we are going to clap on Wednesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, let's begin again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that 
that is all for now. So today is Wednesday, April 8th. We need to change it here. It's been a while since we changed this calendar. So now we will change that to an eight. So now we have four, eight, 2020 for the digital date. Four is for the month, eight is for the day, and 2020 is still our year. We need to do the April tally, so we have to add about five more tally marks. So one, two, three, four, and after four, we need to bundle it for the five, and then six, seven, eight. So now April 8th is, or the 8th is one bundle of five, and then three more left over, okay? So for our calendar journal, all right, so today is Wednesday. We're going to write Wednesday right here. Yesterday was Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Thursday. Holy Thursday. All right. And I see out the window, it is kind of cloudy. And I believe the sun will come out later on, but for right now it is cloudy and it is chilly. It has been beautiful outside with all the rain. I do love the rain, but I do love the sun more. So make sure you thank God for all the rain um, for our springtime showers to bring all the flowers and all the um, leaves on the trees to come and bring us um, oxygen. So it's cloudy. I drew my cloudy, um, our, my cloudy sky, and then I'm using my eyeballs and my my eyeballs to see that it's cloudy. But I'm also using my skin to tell me that it feels cold. So I'm gonna write cold. That rain brought a bunch of cold weather, but that is okay because I believe it's gonna be sunny next week and this weekend. All right. So that's what your calendar um, page should look like. Here is my months of the year. How many months do we have in a year? We have 12, good job. What is our ninth month of the year? If you count, it is September, good job. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, that's the ninth month, okay? The first month is January, the last month is December. Let's sing it. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Boop, boop, boop. And then according to our buckets, I do need to add two more days. All right, so in our buckets, our ones bucket, I need to add two more days because we had Monday and we had Tuesday. So I'm gonna add two. And now we have three in the ones bucket. We have three in the tens, three bundles of 10 in the tens bucket, and then one big bundle in the 100s bucket. So I need to change this, oops, sorry. So according to our buckets telling us that we have been in school, so one in the 100 bucket, one is fun, and then three bundles of 10 in the tens bucket around the tree, around the tree, that's the way to make a three, and then we have three straws in the ones bucket, so that's around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. And now we've been in school, home and at school um, for 133 days. So that's basically 133 days of awesome learning, okay? So here is our 100 chart, our fancy dancy 100 chart. Let's count by fives today. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And of course, those fives end with a five or a zero. Let's count by tens as well, okay? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. One more time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that is a 100 chart. All right, boys and girls, did you read or listen to me read Duck Rabbit? It was on the YouTube channel. I think I linked it up in the email. Were, were you on Team Duck or Team Rabbit? Frankly, I get confused every single time, but this book is awesome and makes you really think, okay? Also, this week I posted up my read aloud for Easter. It's called Easter Egg by Jan Brett with all these beautiful pictures. We've read um, The Mitten by Jan Brett during winter time. This one is about Easter, Easter Bunny and the eggs. With the beautiful pictures and detailed and then the side pictures as well, story. And then at the end of that story, I gave you a directed drawing of an Easter bunny. If you have not done it yet, go ahead and do that today and show me. You can post this in your window or on your front door to show everyone in your, your community or in your neighborhood or your family just how much we all mean to each other and just to lift up some spirits with some beautiful pictures drawn by you guys. So if you have done that, post it up um, or text it to me. If not, go ahead and check out that YouTube video of me reading. Also this week, we were doing uh, math. We were doing the numbers 21 through 31, identifying and comparing the numbers um, between 21 and 31. Super fun and easy because you've been doing all the numbers so far from 1 to 31. So those were on pages, one, or those were um, three pages front to back all the time is 175, 177, and page 181. And then in phonics, we've been learning all about the long A sound. There's a difference between the short A and the long A, and that was pages 147 through 157. Um, and then as well, um, today is almsgiving. So our um, theme for Lent for today is almsgiving. So what I'd like so you to do is to write a letter to someone that is older, maybe in, um, in a convalescent home, if you know someone that lives in a home or maybe your grandparents again, you know, I asked you to write to them a couple weeks ago. If you weren't able to do it, do so now. They would love to hear from you, especially at this time. Um, or, you know, send a, um, send a picture or FaceTime with a friend or a family member um, and brighten up their day. So today's almsgiving, do something for your friends, family, and community. Take a picture. Um, and send it to me or post it on Seesaw. That would be awesome. Um, as well as yesterday was no technology. We're fasting from technology. Make sure you draw a picture of what you did with your family. What was your favorite thing to do with your family? Um, and, you know, pray over it. Pray over um, your family. Pray for your friends. Pray for the loved ones that um, are maybe affected by um, this horrible virus. Um, and pray that we all get better and that we can see each other again. And also, if you missed um, the meeting on the Zoom meeting on Monday, don't worry. We will do another one this Friday, um, Good Friday, for um, maybe 30 minutes just to pray and to talk before we go on to Easter break because Easter break will be no homework, no videos, no assignments, just um, carry on as usual like you're having a vacation, but of course, um, stay at home and... Um, protect yourselves and your family, um, and just relax. Okay. Um, we will talk again on Friday. If I see you, if not, I will see you after Easter vacation. Bye guys.